Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today, one of the most heavily requested loads for the channel. We're gonna be shooting Barnes TTSX, their 130 grain load in 308 Winchester. And here is your box for that Barnes Vortex 130 grain TTSX boat tail bullet for the 308 Winchester. Let's flip it around to the back. Heavily requested load to test here on the channel. Here is all of your promo information. There's quite a bit. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like to. Flipping it around right here, we have our ballistics info. It's kind of hard to see because of the reflection and like the gold colored sticker, but we've got our muzzle velocity stated at 3,125 feet per second. Now we will be shooting this stuff out of a 22 inch barreled Ruger American. They probably are using a 24 inch barrel to get that velocity. Nevertheless, we'll see how close we come. Let's go ahead and pull this stuff out and take a look. There it is. Your Barnes brass and ammo is usually very nice and clean. This stuff is no exception. Let's go ahead and pull one out and take a look. And here it is. Nice, clean looking brass. There's your 130 grain tipped TSX bullet. Let's go shoot the stuff and see how it does. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Standard, chambered in 308 Winchester, of course. It has a 22-inch barrel. I did have it threaded so I could use a Silencer Co. Hybrid 46 suppressor. And coming on back, I've got it topped off with a Vortex Diamondback 4 to 16 by 42 scope. Definitely helps see the gel blocks down there. And of course, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on the buttstock. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings on there. Those are also available on my website. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my white tailed deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your absolutely screaming velocities for that Barnes Vortex 130 grain load out of the 308 Winchester. Minimum 3,071 feet per second, max 3,098 for an average of 3,086 feet per second. Incredible. And I know it's sort of a lightweight bullet for the 308 Winchester, at least in terms of your standard hunting loads, but it's fun to see a 308 load going over 3,000 feet per second no matter what it is. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that 130 grain Barnes TTSX boat tail bullet from the 308 Winchester. And we did capture all three bullets. We got one, two, and then there's a third one way back there deep in the block. They look absolutely stupendous. Look at the mushrooming on that. I really like what I'm seeing. And so in terms of penetration, that one back there is a little tough to see, but it's about the same as this one right there. So we are looking at about 30 and a half inches of penetration for these two. And then this one right here went, ah, we're going to kiss it. We're going to give it 32 inches. It's right there at the 32 inch mark. So great penetration out of these 130 grain copper bullets. And coming on up to the first block, they slapped this first block around quite a bit. It's a little tough to see the wound tracks in there. I did wind up stacking all three pretty close together. This is an incredibly accurate load. I will show you the group from this, actually. I usually don't do that, but I will this time. Um, the wound cavity, again, it's tough to see with the lighting. And here, I came around to the other side of the block. You can see one, two, three wound tracks. They blow up pretty nice right here. They open up pretty quickly. The wound track is about, eh, gosh, nine to 10, even to 11 inches long before it really starts tapering off. It's a better wound track than a lot of your solid copper stuff and I think it's because these things are going pretty darn quick they're a little bit lighter for caliber I think 130 grain might be the perfect weight for solid copper bullets in the 308 Winchester and maybe you know any 308 caliber cartridge 
But let's go ahead and dig these guys out and take a look. But first, real quick, we'll come over here to my target board back here. So what I do is I'll shoot a group. This is where I measure my velocity. I'll shoot a three-shot group real quick, and I'm measuring my velocity with my chronograph when I'm doing these shots. This is the group from that Barnes TTSX load 130 grain. One, two, that's two shots, three, right there. I was aiming dead center. This is a five-eighths of an inch group with solid copper bullets out of an extremely, extremely dirty barrel, okay? I did not clean this thing. I fired dozens of loads through it. Dirty barrel, 5 8 inch group from solid copper bullets, 308 Winchester. It is what it is. Your mileage may vary, but I figured I'd go ahead and show you that. I usually don't show the groups like this because I'm not really trying very hard to get the tightest groups when I'm, you know, doing these ballistics gel tests. I have limited time. I've got to get through as many as I can. So I'm not sitting back there trying to do, you know, super duper marksmanship. I'm just trying to see where they're going so I can measure the velocity and then know where to hold on the face of these blocks to actually get good hits because I'm not re-zeroing every time between loads. So I need to know roughly where they're gonna hit. Anyways, I figured I'd just show that to you. Incredible accuracy out of this load and my particular rifle today. All right, y'all, we've dug the bullets out of the blocks. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Those 130 grain Barnes TTSX boat tail bullets out of the 308 Winchester. Weight retention, 129, 129, 130 grains for an average of about 129 grains. And those two 129s, it's probably the blue plastic tip that's missing, I don't know. Either way, it works out to 99% weight retention, probably 100% of the copper portion of the bullet excellent performance. Expansion, we saw 0 0.60 inches across the board for all three bullets. Perfectly consistent. That works out to 1.9x expansion, which is about what we see out of solid copper monolithic bullets in your standard calibers. They don't typically have much bigger expansion than that. They open up, they fold back, and they penetrate deep. Velocity wise, this stuff is screaming. We saw a high of 3,098 feet per second. And keep in mind, this is out of a 308 Winchester. A low of 3,072 feet per second for an average of 3,086 feet per second versus the box spec of 3,125 feet per second. So we did come in 39 feet per second slower than box spec. I've seen a lot worse than that in my day in all my ammo tests. That's nothing to scoff at. I've had several loads actually meet or exceed box spec out of the same rifle. So it's not the rifle or anything like that. It's just the ammo is not quite hitting the box spec, but man, it's right there. And if you had a 24 inch barrel 308, I'm sure you'd hit it maybe exceed it a little bit. We're using a 22 inch barrel, which is by far the standard with a 308 Winchester hunting rifle. So I'm extremely pleased with the velocity of this stuff. And the estimated velocity down there at 100 yards would be about 2,870 feet per second. Penetration wise, this stuff absolutely knocked it out of the park, especially for a lighter weight bullet in 308 Winchester. Your typical hunting bullet weights in 308 are 150 to 180 grains. This is 130 grain, but we got 30 and a half inches, 30 and a half inches and 32 inches of penetration. For an average of 31 inches of penetration, I think that is absolutely phenomenal. The stuff is hitting hard and fast and penetrating plenty deep for what it is. And we've got some heavier Barnes copper ammo coming up in 308 Winchester, so we'll be able to compare the penetration numbers when we get to that video here very soon. But this is great for a 130 grain bullet in a 308, perfect in my estimation. And on a kinetic energy with a 130 grain bullet going on average 3,086 feet per second, we're looking at 2,749 foot-pounds at the muzzle and about 2,377 foot-pounds down there at 100 yards, which is excellent for the 308 Winchester. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts. If you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks, y'all. All right, y'all, on to my final thoughts for this Barnes Vortex 130 grain TTSX boat tail load out of the 308 Winchester. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that this might be my new hunting ammo of choice out of the 308. The stuff hits all the boxes. Great weight retention, of course, it's a solid copper bullet. Great expansion for solid copper. 
screaming velocity. I would love to shoot this stuff out of a 24 inch barreled 308 to see if we could beat that 3125 box spec. I bet we would. Nevertheless, it's still going over 3000 feet per second out of my 22 inch barrel. And that's gonna give you a great trajectory out to your typical distances, 100, 200, 300 yards. It's gonna do great for you. And penetration wise, for medium game, this is gonna do everything you need it to. 31 inches on average. If you've got some off hand, you know, off shot angles, not perfectly broadside, it's still gonna do it for you and go all the way through. If this stuff shot even halfway accurately in my rifle, which it does, it, it shoots incredibly well out of my particular rifle, I would not hesitate to use it, and it in fact would be at the top of my list for 308 hunting ammo. At the top, number one. And this has been one of the most requested ammo tests on my channel since its inception is this 130 grain 308 load. I'm glad I could finally bring it to you guys. I've got the other bullet weights coming soon. The other Barnes TS or Barnes Vortex um, TTSX loads. They're coming soon. I've got all of them. So stay tuned for that. This 130 grain version blew it absolutely out of the park. I'm extremely pleased with the performance across the board. If you've used this ammo, let us know in the comments how it did for you. Tell us how it performed on game in the field. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.